Beneath the pavements of the world's major cities lie their corporate and government secrets, travelling along optical fibre cables literally at light speed. Demand for fibre optic cabling as part of enterprise-wide area networks has grown exponentially because of its high speed and cost effectiveness for business continuity, disaster recovery, business consolidation and outsourcing. For many organisations, these highly scalable networks are critical to satisfy demand for ever more bandwidth and real-time applications. The move by many away from traditional copper wiring to optical fibre was led by its bandwidth capability and the belief that fibre is inherently secure. But the truth is quite different. Anyone with mischief or criminal intent can access corporate and personal records anywhere along the optical fibre if it is not properly protected. Even dedicated or dark fibre used only by one company point to point is vulnerable. It's as simple as buying a clip-on coupling device over the internet. And to prove that point that many organisations, both private and public, are at risk today, we paid US $1400 online and a week later received this device. By putting a slight bend in the fibre as it clamps on, small amount of light escapes and the data stream can then be captured using off-the-shelf sniffer software. We can read what's being sent between offices and remain virtually undetectable to either the original sender or intended recipient unless specific equipment is in place to check for signal degradation or disturbance. To demonstrate what we have here as these systems to show you how easy it is to take a signal off fibre, off optical fibre. Over here we have a server, a machine that's actually sending data out across the network at Building A and we would consider this to be an organisation's head office. Over here we have a system that is receiving that video stream which could be at a branch office and in between we have the network and what we've done is we've constructed a network out of optic fibre, bare fibre that you would find in the pit, in the ground, outside every corporate building. And you can see here our hacker's clip-on device that it's attached to a bare piece of optic fibre. The third laptop to the end is our hacker's laptop. It's the machine that is set up to intercept that video. And all we need to do is drop this clamp onto the bare fibre, which will generate a signal on the hacker's laptop. Now what we'll do then is show you how easy it is to secure this. So I will turn the encryptors on. As you can see now, nothing has changed. And that is deliberate. The encryptors are encrypting the information from one end to the other. And we can show this very elegantly and simply by once again dropping the clamp onto the optic fibre. See what happens on the intercepting laptop. There's no, there's no new information flowing to that machine and the attacker cannot read the data traversing across the network anymore. In summary, this is an excellent example of a Metro Ethernet network running at high speed. And we've shown you how the information can be taken off the optic fibre in real time and how you can go about simply and effectively securing your information by encrypting it end to end. Businesses pumping data along these fibres at up to 10 gigabits per second. With the global use of this type of wide area network set to triple by 2009, the need to secure data in motion has never been clearer. Naturally, major corporations and governments are publicity shy about breaches, but they occur with disturbing frequency. For example, according to the Wolf Report, an illegally installed eavesdropping device was found in a carrier's optical network at a mutual fund company prior to the release of their quarterly financial statements. In another incident, there was a breach of three main telecommunications trunk lines at Frankfurt Airport. It's a serious problem requiring a serious solution. Senatas Corporation, an Australian ASX S&P 300 company, has developed this world-leading high-speed hardware encryptor, CypherNet, to work directly in the data layer, layer two. CypherNet delivers Unsurpassed high-speed security operates at line speed with virtually no latency and runs from 100 megabits per second up to 10 gigabits per second. Recent studies by the Rochester Institute of Technology in the US found that layer two encryption technologies provide superior throughput and far lower latency than IPsec VPNs which operate at layer three. The Rochester study states in the case of point-to-point high-speed networks 
Layer 2 Ethernet encryption generates much better performance in the comparison to Layer 3 IPsec encryption on the same link. The encryption of traffic at line speed, addition of constant minimal latency regardless of frame size, and minimal frame loss makes Layer 2 encryption a highly desirable solution. Enterprises that need to secure a point-to-point -point link are likely to achieve better encryption performance by shifting from traditional encryption with IPsec at Layer 3 to the overhead free encryption of frame payloads at Layer 2. Our world-leading encryption technology is accredited to the highest international government security standards, including United States FIPS accreditation, plus common criteria EAL4. Our customers include government departments in the United States, Australia, the Middle East, Asia and Europe, as well as some of the world's leading financial institutions. Encrypting data is a business enabler. It provides business with the assurance that critical information will remain secure, even if the fiber optic lines themselves are tapped. Scientists estimate it would take approximately 149 trillion years for a specially designed decryption program to decipher a 128-bit advanced encryption standard, and even longer for the typical 256-bit key used in CypherNet. Without adequate high-speed hardware encryption, business clearly carries the risk. When sensitive data is compromised, or customer data is lost, or financial loss occurs, whether through malice or accident, Many organizations are unwilling to report it, fearing damage to their bottom line, stock price or reputation. Increasingly, international regulations require businesses to ensure their data is kept secure under the threat of severe company and personal penalty against directors. Many businesses still regard expenditure on security as unnecessary, a reluctant purchase often agreeing to loosen the corporate purse strings only after a security breach. Far from being a low priority expenditure item, proper security is a business enabler. Unauthorized access to sensitive data not only affects the bottom line of organizations, it damages their public reputation. So business needs to ask, how secure is our information? And what's the price of our corporate reputation?